Hello everyone, this is an episode review for Season 3, Episode 14, otherwise known as Monster Reunion. And we all saw this coming, all the way from Monster Buddies, we knew Centipedal would be coming back in one way or another, this time in her new, semi-improved, non-corrupted form, kinda. But... Yes, Steven has slightly found a way to help her. She can at least have her hands and feet to draw and walk and all this stuff. She still can't truly talk, and we don't know what her face actually looks like too much, but she can show, like, facial expressions somewhat with, like, her eyeball face. I don't know what you would really call that. I guess her gem, basically. It's kind of weird. She shows facial expression with her gem. I just realized that, which is also her eye, and maybe her mouth, but I'm looking far too deep into that, but yeah, we get, um, a bit of a backstory with Centipedal, which I didn't actually think that they would do too much, but it does explain, like, a big, um, thing within the Steven Universe mythos, and that being what's with all the corruptive gems, not so much, like, why is there so many of them, but what is with them, why are the... Why are they the way that they are? And there are some theories out there from a while back before this episode came out. Um, you could probably find them if you search them up on YouTube or Tumblr or Reddit. I don't know. If you can find them. Uh, that did pretty much go with the same concept of that there was some biological weapon that exploded within the air. And it affected all the remaining gems that were on Earth after the war, or pretty much immediately after Homeworld ditched Earth and let out this explosion, and whatever happened to those gems happened to them, and Garnet did explain it the best way. It's not that, like, MC Bear Bear's arm was broken, it's more that his mind was broken, and that is the perfect way, because there is no other way to explain it, how corrupt the gem is. It's not so much physically like their gem is broken, it's more of like the gem itself, the mind of it, is broken. So that does make sense. So that means something must be telling these gems with inside their mind to, like, that keeps telling them over and over again, form like this and be this way in some sort of, like, concept. I feel like that's what it's going for. And it makes me wonder why Homeworld did this when they had pretty much the advantage in the war, at least how I see it, if they had an entire planet against just a little rebellion army. Well, that's kind of for another video. And it was actually pretty sad and um, heartbreaking to see the centipedal backstory. I actually did almost cry to that. And I, I also knew that she wouldn't be staying with the gems because we see Bismuth later on and centipedal wasn't there. So something must have happened. I was either guessing that she just revert back to normal, improve, or something else. I was kind of right. She reverts back to her centipedal self, but finds other centipedals and lives happily ever after, really. Um, so yeah, that is the episode review. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'll try and answer them the best I can. But if you want to draw any fan art for the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Until then, bye.